So All it right. is temporarily closed down. So we're going to turn it to the side like that to show that it's temporarily closed. Okay. All right, here I go. So here's the SIF. And, uh, well, first we have to do the Constitution Fortitude 8, which my Constitution is an 8. So if I roll an 8 with this, and I roll a 2. So he will be a 13 and a 16 for me to be able to defeat. Okay, so let's do the first combat. I will roll a D10 mm -hmm. with a plus 6. And uh, then two D4s. And I don't want to uh, recharge it, obviously. So, all right. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I've already got him for the first one. Yeah. So, all right. So now we're going to use it for the second combat check. Okay. So, uh, once again, a D10 with a D4. This time I am going to recharge it. What do you think? Well, you get a D10, two D4s. No, have... I'm going to get a D10 and three D4s. This would give me two D10s and three D4s if I use my Blessing of Toron. And it would close down the farmhouse. And we know that he's going to go to the wooden bridge. I I think you can do it without the Blessing, but... If... I'm using the Blessing. I don't want to take a chance on that. Okay. I really don't. So that will give me two D10s, three, three D4s. D4s. Uh, that would be 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's enough. Yeah, That's all I need because him. of all that. Uh -huh. So I, I just didn't want to gamble. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So that means he is going to go to this location... Okay. Um, the spyglass was still there. This uh, location has been closed down. He will go there, and uh, the woods will be back open again. So you and I can just go through the woods and just, you know, play, work together. Play in the woods. Yeah, and if you get your Staff of Minor Healing again, then maybe you can I would like to get the Staff of Minor Healing again. But um, I think that only gives you one card back. I have no weapons. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's because, remember that first turn I lost uh, two of okay. them right off the bat? And I've got three of them in my deck still. But, boy, they are not not wanting to come out and play. All right, so uh, you ready? Okay. Did you just draw a card? You didn't? No, put oh, that back. Oh, sorry. There you go. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, well, that is the, uh, the henchman here. So the Scarecrow Golem, uh, check to defeat combat 12. You may not play spells with the attack trait. Uh, so you just need to do a combat 12. Um, now you are still by yourself, which is good. Because then at least now, um, you know, you don't have to worry about, uh, um, yeah. you know, me uh, interfering with you. So. Um, okay. Uh, that was a 12. I've got a 12, a 10, plus 2. I'll go ahead and use... Recharge him? Yeah, I don't know whether I want to recharge him or... I'll recharge the master. Okay. You should get it. I mean... Got it. Got it. Okay. So, once again... I'm on fire! <laughs> Alright, so here's the thing, though. You now have to try to close this down. You have to do a Wisdom or Survival 6 check. If you can't do it, it's not a major issue. Because now I'll just come over there and help you out. Which my blessing of Shaylin would have helped me with, but I already used it to temporarily yeah, close it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Nope. It was worth a shot. Uh, your crooked cards are driving me crazy. I, I, it's like, yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry. It's my, I just have a problem in my head. I'm looking at this and it's driving me crazy. Uh huh. Oh, that's the one that I tried to draw up and had to put back. Okay. I got it. Ooh, stuff of minor healing. Good, because I'm gonna come over there and play with you, and we're gonna. I figure we'll just stay over here and close down the woods, then we'll come over here and play at the bridge. Sound good? Okay. Okay. Well. Um, ready? All right, a Tickwood Boar. He is a Combat 10. Um, unfortunately, I don't have any weapons, so I am just... This is mono e mono Tickwood Boar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Take him so out with your bare hands. We know that we love our bacon. Uh, this is the third scenario in a row that Tickwood Boar has popped up. Because he knows we love our bacon. So, <laughs> let's see what happens. I roll a d10. I have a plus 5, so I just got to roll a 3. Uh, oh, well, oh, I'm sorry. Before the encounter succeed at a wisdom or survival 7 check where the difficulty to defeat the Tickwood Boar is increased by 2. I could use my guide for that if I wanted to. Um, but the only thing is, I was kind of saving her because then I could use her to close this location. So, I'd just rather just let him be increased. Okay. What to do, right? Okay, so... I rolled a four, 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm I'm one short of defeating Why him. Why are you one short? Oh, because he's a yeah. 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it says here, um, if you discard more than one card as damage from a combat check, bury one of those cards. Well, it says more than one, so You're I'm right. only taking one uh -huh. damage. So um, I can use my recharge this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by two. So, okay. right, so I will recharge this, which will allow me to draw. Yay, I get a weapon. Woohoo! Now, the good thing about this, too, is we are fighting in the woods. Undefeated monsters, other than villains or henchmen, are banished. Oh, so, yay, that works. War, it goes away anyways. So. All right, so, Carmen, you are up. Okay. Really feeling like we have to go through this whole thing, huh? Yeah, but it's not a big deal. We'll uh, get through it. It's, I'm getting nervous. Ambush! Okay. okay, so Wisdom Perception, Dexterity Acrobats. The difficulty to defeat the Sparrow is increased by the Adventure Deck number of the current scenario, if any. So this will be an 11 uh, for you to be able to um, get okay. away from... From, well, I have a plus four. Uh, this is another one of those ones, honey. I just let it go. Don't even worry about it. All you're going to do is just, uh, you can just, if undefeated, examine the location deck until you find a monster. Encounter it, subtracting one from each of those dice. Shuffle the remaining. And then you can just evade it. it. It doesn't matter. Okay, one thing to point out real quick is that you must attempt the Bane check, so we should at least roll to see if we fail the ambush instead of just saying, well, we're not going to attempt. You must attempt it. Boons, you can. You have the option of, of whether or not you want to do it, but Banes, you must at least attempt it. Against a Yef okay. Hound, okay, and he is a combat 9. Before the encounter, each character at your location must succeed at a Wisdom 6 check or the difficulty of her checks is increased by 1 for the rest of the turn. Uh, I don't okay. know why that matters for me. Um, but it's a Wisdom 6 check. My Wisdom is a D4, so I failed! Uh, well, mine's a 6, so... And okay. failed. So okay. keep in mind, okay? First off, remember, the ambush said, um, if undefeated, examine the location deck until you find a monster, ex encounter it, subtracting 1 from each die roll in your check. Okay. okay? I think you should evade this thing. Just be it's, safe. It's basically a 10 right now. It's only a 10. Well, you're going to be subtracting one from each die you roll. Uh, you are in my location, which is um, you will get a d4 with a plus one. I do give you that ability. But you're not going to be able to use your ability now. Okay. <clears throat> so which may not be a bad idea. you just gave idea. me a plus one for that yeah. die. So. Yeah, so that offset there. So um, you're going to subtract one from each one of these dice. I told you, you can't pick up a d4, can you? Those things no, are it's like... <laughs> <laughs> can't get your fingers around them. Okay. So, that's it. Okay. Okay. So that was an 8, a 4, and a 1. So this one just goes away. That'd be a 3, and that's a 7. So that's a 10. Woo! You just did get it. Oh, well, I have plus 2. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. So you, you got him good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, before you end your turn, um, would it not be prudent to maybe use a Staff of Minor Healing on me? Okay. So, do I just take a random card? Recharge this card. Choose a character at your location to recharge one random card from his discard pile. I'm hoping it was a weapon. It was not a weapon. Okay. Are you it... not allowed to see what you recharge? I don't think you're supposed to. I don't know. Alright, so you're all done? Yes. Alright, so here I go again on my own. A collapsed ceiling. A Dexterity, Acrobats, Constitution, Fortitude, 8. The difficulty to defeat the barrier is increased by the adventure deck number of the current scenario. So it's a 10. If you fail the check to defeat by 4 or more, you are dealt 1 combat damage that may not be reduced. Um, well, okay. I guess that means I use my Thieves tools. Reveal this card to add 1 die to your Disable check. Discard this card to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty to defeat is 11 or lower. So, it's a 10. Um, it says by 4 or more, but I don't even need to attempt the roll. Seems how this the check is, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the check is a, a 10. It's not, okay. an, you know, whatever. So, okay. Uh, so, that is it for me. I will draw back up. Oh, I got weapons galore now. Now, um, quick question, Carmen. Um, I can... Uh, oh, well, actually, if you... 
how does that work? So you can take the card away, but are you allowed to immediately then try to do the closing action after that? Uh, I think you can. Or is the, I could just go over here. I don't know. Because that's what I was thinking. Then you, you can close it. Yeah, later. yeah, because I've got the guide. So oh, well, look, don't I take me you with, with you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I flipped your you card already. You and piggyback. Goblin, War Chanter. Okay, he's a Combat 8. Before the encounter, succeed any Wisdom 8 check. Or you may not play spells with the attack trait or weapons. Great. I don't get weapons. Okay, so... Um, uh, let's see. What do I want to do? You can recharge, so... I, I would just discard it and get two get D6s. Two yeah. Okay, so... I don't get a. I only get a plus one for the d6 that I'm rolling. I don't get my normal. Yeah. Whoa, whoa! Oh no, you can't use a weapon. Duh. Can't Oof. use a weapon. Yeah, I can't help you, man. I'm sorry. All right. You got him. I okay. got him. All right, good job, hun. So the war chants are hi ya ya ya. Go away. Okay. Now it is Martin, and we have a short bow. Uh, dexterity ranged three. Do you even want that thing? Yes. Okay. Um, so I will attempt this as a dexterity ranged, and I roll a d8 for that. Come on. And oh! <laughs> sorry. I really wanted oh, that. Okay, so now that there are no cards, am I allowed to, uh, try to close that? Yes. Okay. So, uh, I will now use my guide, mm -hmm. which will allow me to roll a recharge this card to add 1d10 to your survival check. Um, and I need to roll a wisdom or survival 6 check. So, I do not have survival, so that'll be a d4 and a d10. And we have nothing else to add to this. So, we'll see what happens. You can do it. I rolled a 5. Uh, I needed a 6. Boy, that stinks big time. Oh, well. So I don't close the woods down, unfortunately. <laughs> this game is hard. All right, ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, oh, flip my blessing? Oh, I did not. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so a goblin commando. He's not wearing any panties. Um, check to defeat a combat nine. Before the encounter, the goblin deals one ranged combat damage to you. So you automatically just get one range of combat damage. Recharge this card to reduce combat damage. Dealt to you by one. Magic leather armor! Right. Okay. Okay. So now I can use my heavy crossbow. Yeah. Now you can just whoop up on him. <laughs> oh, I forgot to draw back up. And I will recharge my flaming mace to get my d6 plus one. Okay. And I just gotta, let's see, just gotta roll a six. Yeah, you got this. All right. Got it. So he's all beat up. All kinds of beat up. All right. So that is it for that. And I'm thinking I'll just come over to your location. What do you think? Okay. Okay. And uh, did I flip your card? Or mine? There we go. All right. A blessing of Eomid. Uh, um, so <laughs> it says a Charisma 4 or a Divine 5. Well, I would like to get this. Um, it is a charisma. It adds two dice to a, a non-combat charisma chick. Nice. So I roll a d6. I'd have to get a two with this. So, And I did. Yay. So I did obtain this. Um, I'm going to use the dog to explore again. So let's explore again. The Attic Whisperer. No, it's the scary Attic Whisperer. Um, before the encounter, each character at your location must succeed at a Wisdom 4 check or be dealt one mental damage, which may not be reduced. Players must choose a Blessing to discard as their damage if they have any. So, it is a Wisdom 4. My Wisdom is a D4. So, let's see what happens. Ah! Success! Oh, my Wisdom <laughs> is a D6. Yay! Oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, so he is a combat 10. I will use my great axe. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Actually, yeah, great axe. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll give me a d12 and a d10. And then I think let's, uh, let's go ahead and recharge it. And we will get an, an additional d10. Let's uh, just lay the, let's just bring the thunder down on this attic whisperer. 
And he is so dead. So very dead. That's what you get for being all kinds of creepy looking. Okay, uh, not very many cards left. One, two, three, four cards left. Two locations still to close down. Uh, what do you think about me exploring again? Well, I think that if you explore again, it is going to be the villain. That's what I think. I'm I'll just, let you I have go. A feeling it's the villain. If it is, it's a dog. It's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> now the good thing about this dog is if you do um, acquire this dog, you can use him to immediately explore again. So um, he is a. He's a wisdom uh, survival. Wisdom survival five. five. I only have a d six for that. Yeah. I should have let you explore again. Yeah, I could have. Oh. it. No, you couldn't. Well, I can't get him either. So. No. Oh, you were so close. Bye-bye, dog. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Nobody wants you. Man's best friend, my butt. <laughs> okay. So, you all done? I'm done. A burglar. A burglar. Okay, so check to acquire dexterity, dexterity stealth 7 or charisma diplomacy 6. Recharge this card to add one to... Okay, if you do not acquire this card, discard one weapon or item. Ugh. I don't like that. Okay, um, so he is a. I have to do the charisma six. diplomacy six, and then I will use my blessing. Discard this card to add one to die to a check. Discard this card to add two dice to a non-combat charisma oh, check. So, okay. There you go. Okay, so I got it. I didn't want to. I don't know why that mattered that much. To be I honest with you. He's not helping you discarded me all a much. card anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what I was just thinking. But all right, my all right. turn. Uh, it is your turn. Boy, we're running out of cards. Be the villain. Oh my oh, god! It's a sage. All right. Um. So she will. Well, she'll add to wis intelligence or wisdom, which does help there to close that. But we know that the last card's him. So recharge this card to add one d six, or I'm sorry, wisdom seven or charisma diplomacy six. Okay. I guess I'll try for the. Charisma. I really need to start getting some pluses on these things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. get her. <laughs> so she goes away. Well, it's him. Um, do we fight him and just close this down? Then we just go to the woods, fight him, and close it down, I guess? I guess it's, we don't really have any choice, do we? Um, Not really. Because, I mean, the chain, we're not going to be able to close down the woods, unfortunately. Neither one of us. We don't have enough uh, wisdom survival, so... There's nothing we can do to temporarily close it or anything. So I think we're just kind of stuck here. and Just close this down and go over there and we beat him up and close that down. So, <laughs> uh, Did I flip my card? Mm, I don't remember. I don't know if I did or not. Okay, well here he is. Um, he says, before the encounter succeeded a Constitution of Fortitude 8 check. Well, I do roll an 8 for that. And I rolled a 6. Okay, so he'll be a 13 and a 16. Yep. So um, first off, I will use my... Yeah, they're kind of the same. Let's use the war hammer on the first one. Smash his skull in. We're going to smash your skull in, punk. <laughs> okay, so this does allow me to roll a d10. Then I get a d8. I get a plus one, and I'll recharge it and get an additional d6. So this would be plus six on this attack for me. And I need to get a seven with these three dice. Okay, so we smashed his skull in pretty good. And now we're going to chop his legs out with the long sword. Okay. So we're going to do a D10. I think this is the same combo. A D8 and a D6. Yep, exact same combo with a plus one. So I just got to... You got nothing to help. 8, 19, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Barely. I just did barely. Okay, so that did get him. So this location is closed, and he's sliding right over there. So we'll just leave him face up. Carmen? I go over here by myself so I can you. use my, my special abilities. Okay. Uh, let's see. My heavy crossbow gives me a d12 and a d10. Um, I can go ahead and... Well, I'm wondering... If I should use Poog, I'll use Poog on the second check. Yeah. So, discard this for 2d6s. Okay. Come on. Well, did you do, you can't succeed at that, can you, that constitution check? No. No. So he's going to be a 13 and a 16 for you as well. Okay. Okay. Um, 
I'm sorry, I should have checked this out. When you end your turn here, you may bury a card from your hand to recharge a card from your discard pile. Um, I don't know. Oh, it, you could have buried the burglar. Yeah, I guess I could, but I don't think it matters, does it? So, okay. go ahead. So, I have a plus three on this. Yes. Got him. So, got okay. him, okay. All right, just do it again. Uh, this time, oh yeah, I, I, I don't have to use a different weapon this time. I was For some reason, I was thinking I did. Um, okay. Well, why do I want to discard? Discard my... Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen, three. fifteen... 16, where's your plus one, extra one? I'm sorry. I, I, I get a plus one on my D6. That's right. Oh, my. Woo! Barely got <laughs> so him. you just didn't get him. Got him. I kept looking. I was like, where'd that other one come from? Yeah. Great job, hon. Fantastic work. So this one is now finished up. So if we look here, it says that each character draws a random armor from the box. I was supposed our, to use uh, Pooz, and I forgot to. Oh, yeah. That's, so that would have given you even three more. It would have given more. me three more. Okay. But... You ready? We each draw a random armor from the box. Come on, be a good one this time. Where's the good one? I don't know. It's probably going to be a wooden shield, you know it. Magic oh, shield. Oh, okay. Ooh, seems like you got the hot hand. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going to draw, draw a wooden one shield now. for you. Magic half plate. Holy crap! Yes! You rock! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, let's get into our setup, and we're going to see which cards we're going to carry over to the next. I know one card that's coming. <laughs> All right. So that was a lot of fun. Um, this is one of the first scenarios in a long time that I can remember that we had to defeat the villain three times, and that's how we was able to close so many locations. That was close. Yeah. <laughs> that now, was close. <laughs> Carmen is still suffering from the flu, so she's probably going to be a little quiet. So if she loses her voice, I will just repeat back to you what she is saying. But, so. Yeah, I think we were we were running low on time on that one. I think we had about six, seven cards still left in our um, Blessing deck. So what we have done here is we've compiled all of the previous comments from part one, and uh, thought maybe we're going to take a bit of a different uh, turn on how we're going to do our conclusions here. So, first off, uh, let's start with Kevin Moore. Kevin, you, uh, you, you've asked a couple of times, have we had a chance to play the fan-based scenarios? No, we just haven't. Um, we really stay so busy with what we're doing. I really would like to try, don't get me wrong. It's just, we're so busy trying to keep up with the videos, and we're so far behind right now in the um, uh, adventure decks that I really want to try to get caught up. Uh, we just did get our Stone Mountain one, and, and I want to get up to Stone Mountain as quick as we can. That's why we're trying to produce so many and releasing one up to maybe two videos a week is to try to get ourselves caught up. Did you have anything you'd like to add to that? That's it. Exactly. Once we get caught up, I think we're definitely going to check them out, though. Busy with the basics at the moment. Exactly, exactly. Um, now, if I mispronounce any of your guys' names, please forgive me. But I believe this is uh, Marcus Croc. Okay. I'm going to guess that the C uh, sounds like a K. Um, well, Marcus was the one who suggested that we try to create... Um, and give the openings a bit more flavor, give more background to them, read the text. And uh, so I hope you guys have been enjoying watching the new intros and even now the conclusions. I'm trying to add a little bit more to spice it up some more. Um, you know, turning, you know, boars into bacon, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> little things like that, just to try to keep you guys more interested. And, uh, you know, hopefully it'll spread the word and we'll maybe get some more people to start watching the videos even as well and create even a bigger community than we've already had. So thanks. Yeah, that was an awesome suggestion. You guys can all thank him. Uh, Josh Murdoch and Kevin Moore. Uh, Josh, by the way, that is the most awesome name ever. Josh, J-A-W-S-H. And it just cracked me up. It took me a while to figure out how to pronounce it. But yeah, it's Josh Murdoch. <laughs> um, the bandit henchman at the guardhouse. Did we forget? Did we? We did not forget. We probably should have explained better mm, yeah. that I can always evade them. And, yeah. you know, I mean, it's so much easier just to evade them that that's what I was planning on doing. So we just kind of ignored it and didn't even put the bandit there. 
to begin with. Right. So you always got to remember if something is summoned and if she evades it, it just instantly gets banished. So that's why, and we should have been more, um, we should have explained that a little bit better. Yeah. Um, but, and it I, it, but it made it faster to just, you know, not do the whole steps. Exactly, exactly. And I think uh, even Scott mentioned that we shouldn't have tried to close down the guardhouse. Now, you had a comment that you, uh, Scott Smart, uh, mentioned that try not to close down the guardhouse so fast. Right. Um, I think sometimes we could pay attention to that because we can miss out on things. But in this case, um, this was close. We almost ran out of time. So, you know, we needed to close down something so that the villain wasn't able to run over there. So, yeah, you know, that's yeah. why we closed it down. And you were running away from the bridge to there in the first place. Oh, right, right. I, I didn't want to deal with that attic whisperer again. And that was going to make us run out of time, too, because I was going to have to keep evading him. So I had to get something closed. So that's what I did. She had to call in the heavy guns to take care of that attic whisperer. <laughs> Scare my wife. Okay, um, now, once again, forgive me if I mispronounce your name, but Thomas Petrosivius? Ugh, I know I'm awful. You guys know how bad I am with... Uh, I, I can't even do that. Okay, uh, I, I apologize, <laughs> Thomas. Well, um, you did make a comment, though, that um, why, why did we discard the ambush barrier after um, we did fail it? Well, that is actually supposed to... I, I'm bad about this, and what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go through and try to get all my cards updated and actually write on the cards and maybe take new pictures of them so that it's stated on the cards. And I apologize for that. That is really just as much my fault. But it is an errata. Is that what you call it? Errata? Errata? What do you have? E-R-R-A-T-A. -R -R I don't know how to really pronounce it. Don't ever ask me to pronounce things. I have to see it. So, uh, so anyways, um, they did change that card that... If you fail or even if you pass it, it does get banished directly after that. So that that is why we put it back in the box. And once again, I believe it was Scott Smart uh, that uh, pointed that out to me originally when we failed and we did shuffle it back in on accident one time. So, uh, Michael Ondick, is yeah. that correct? Okay. Uh, you made a comment. You said Meister Grump was used incorrectly. Um, we didn't use his ability, um, you know, to try to search through and look for the bang. We just used his second ability which was just to explore again so yeah we ended up using him correctly because of that so uh don't worry about that one um but still good call because it can be easily confused on that one because if we're just using him then you're thinking oh well they're searching for the bane but yeah he does let you just search them um we have i'm sorry did you have something no okay that's, uh, yeah, that's the very next card so the, the crombio one i hope i'm pronouncing that right again uh, he made a funny comment about you when you fought the bugbear yeah. that, uh, well, you left a hole inside of him after you threw the I sure <laughs> did. Axe. Like, Whoa! <laughs> 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 yeah, you destroyed that bugbear. That was a great roll on your half. Um, the Dragon Scholar. Um, hey, you made a great point. We must attempt to at least, uh, the Banes. If, if it's a, a boon, we can, it's an option that you can decide to not roll for the check, but if it's a Bane, you must attempt the roll. Now, let's talk about this for a little bit, because um, even though we did technically do that wrong, we should have at least rolled. We look at the card and... I could have failed that. Yeah. Um, because I could have used a Wisdom check. Mm -hmm. My Wisdom is a D6. Uh, perception would give it a plus two. I yeah, believe. and that would have given it a, an 11 on the ambush, which unless if you would have yeah. combined with a Blessing, which Scott Smart pointed out, you would have failed no matter what. Yes, I, I mean, would have. Well, I, it would have been well, hard. With a blessing, I could have You could it. have, yeah, but, but that would have been with, tough. without a blessing, no, I would have failed. Yeah, so, so yeah. yeah, you roll a d6, and that would have been an 11, so you would have had to roll uh, at least a 5 and a 6 to be able to pass with two two dice by using a blessing. But. Well, I have a plus 2. Uh, oh. Perception. Well, with perception, but if you went straight wisdom, no. Uh, you, 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 oh, you I thought it would have had to have been perception. Well, yeah. Because it was under wisdom. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. You're right. Okay, <laughs> so um, let's take this. Uh... Okay, so Saul Simon Tan caught you doing something highly illegal. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we <laughs> you used the Staff of Minor Healing, and what did you do? <laughs> well, I had it in my head that I was going to get my blessing back. 
And uh, so I used the staff of minor healing, put it back in my hand. <laughs> I'm supposed to uh, use the staff of minor healing to get the card back into my deck <laughs> and recharge it. Um, but I would not have used that blessing even if I had realized right. that ahead of time. For right. some reason, I you don't usually use the staff of minor healing on myself, so it just didn't occur to me that I wouldn't. I'd have wasn't... to go back and check. I think you use it more on yourself than using. Well, I don't hand. know. It didn't occur to me that it wasn't going to go back in my hand for whatever reason. I I cheated. Uh, okay. Cheating's fun. Cheating is fun. I mean, Maricel <laughs> is going to turn into a thief. So. <laughs> just... Well, you have an option. I think it's an acrobat or a thief. <laughs> Thief. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so Frederick, you made a comment. What a cliffhanger! And uh, thank you. Once again, that goes back to uh, Marcus Croc, who um, kind of made me feel that I need to start making this a bit more thematic and, uh, you know, let's make this a bit more epic than what it is. So um, I yeah. thought, let's cut it off right there, right before Carmen, Carmen tries to roll to close down the woods. Is she going to close it down? Am I going to defeat, you know, this unpronounceable name of this villain? Um, you, know, you know, it's kind of fun that way. When you play this game, you really feel like you're in the middle of a story, almost like you're playing out a choose-your-own-adventure book in my mind. And, and uh, you know, I think that was a really good point that we weren't really putting that into the videos as much as we should have. Yeah. Uh, now, Scott Smart, we heard something from Kentucky yelling up, uh, Spyglass! <laughs> All the way from Kentucky. Okay, let's talk about the Spyglass card. Uh, we read over this. Now, Carmen, um... Let's take a look at it. First off, it, what it lets you do, you can um, use it to um, check the top two cards of your location deck. Now, why do you typically not use the Spyglass very often, though? Because with every card, I've got to weigh what do I want to use it for. Because when I'm in combat, I can always recharge or discard a card to add a D6. That's huge. You know, if I'm going to have to discard it in order to use it, I usually don't use it. Right. For that reason. I can understand know? that. Because, I mean, potentially that Spyglass is two D6s. Yes. Maybe I should think about what, what cards, which items I keep in my hand. Because if I'm not going to use them, do them being discarded, maybe I should just switch them out for something else. But, I, I think... but that's why. Because, you know, it, it could be so valuable in combat that I don't want to discard it. For a different reason. I think the um, this also applies to the fact that with just two players in four locations, I don't fear uh, running out of time as much as if I was playing with more players. And um, so I think if she did use the spyglass with more players, sure it makes more sense because you're trying to you know find out what's in your location. But with two players, I think we have a bit more leeway. So yeah, when it comes to running out of time, I think we do. But I, I feel like I've gotten awfully close to running out of cards in my deck. A couple of times, so I think I'm more scared of that. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't discard very often. All right, so guys, once again, um, fantastic. We love the community. We love the feedback, and we're going to keep doing this in our conclusions from here on out. So if you guys leave comments, we are going to answer them in the next one, or at least just bring them out so that everybody can enjoy them. Um, stay after the uh, credits. Uh, you'll see which cards we're going to carry over. Carmen was able to draw two pretty awesome uh, uh, armors. Uh, for our um, boost at the end of this, um, our, our, our uh, boon, I mean, at the end of this. So that could be pretty cool. Now, um, you're going to see what we ended up keeping. And I'm questionable because I will tell you right now, I took the magic shield. And I don't know if I should have, but I'll let you guys decide for me on that one. Check that out. Let me know. Should I have kept the magic shield? Seems pretty awesome, but at the same time, it can only be used. Uh, you can't use a two-handed yeah. weapon with it. So that's got me a little worried. So anything else you'd like to conclude with? That's it. We're good. <laughs> Other than uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Alright, so um, let's go over our stuff. First off, um, I can carry five weapons, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six weapons. Uh, how many weapons you got? You got your three, right? Yes. And you can carry all three. Okay. Um, well, so I need to figure out which one... I think uh, I think the short sword is going to go away. The only reason I wouldn't, well, yeah, yeah, short sword is going to go away. I want to keep. I think I'll keep the the, the war hammer instead. So, uh, short sword will go back into the box, and I got my five weapons. That's all. And I've got my three. All right. Um, we have no spells. Armors. I can only hold three armors, and I'm let's gonna... check out our new ones. Well, um, I have a magic half plate. 
It says, uh, recharge this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by three. Banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you to zero. If you are proficient with heavy armors, bury this card instead. If you are proficient with heavy armors, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. So, yeah, not cool. too shabby. Yeah. So I'm going to keep though that along with the two half plates and the chain mail. Um, I'll let you decide if you, it's not as good as the half plate. I don't believe so. Okay. So, so I've got magic shield. Reveal this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by two. If you are proficient with light armors, you may play another armor on this check. Oh, wow. You can play that with another one. If you played a two-handed weapon this check, you may not play this card. Ooh. Is my crossbow a two-handed weapon? Um, yeah, it might be. Not. It should be. Yeah. It is? Yeah, it is two-handed. Um, your throwing axes are not, though. Okay. Most of my weapons are two-handed, too, I believe. Let me see. Uh, my Sith, my Long Spear, my Great Axe, they're all two-handed. So three out of my five are two-handed. So I can't pl I can't use this and my crossbow, cause so that kind of stinks. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, the Half Plate, recharge this card to reduce combat damage dealt to you by three. Mm -hmm. Banish this card to reduce all damage dealt to you by to zero. You're probably going to have to keep those two there. I'm not ones. proficient with heavy armors, so I would have to banish it if I wanted to do that. Oh, yeah. I would just keep the magic leather armor and the magic shield. If you're going to get rid of the magic shield, I'll take it. Really? I see. I'm just I'm really not happy with that magic shield because I can't play it with a two handed weapon. Yeah, I know. That's why I got rid of all my shields because I found them to be a bit. Uh, Frustrating. So you're not proficient with heavy armors? I no, you I'm only proficient with light armors. Oh, uh, you sure are, aren't you? Yep. Oops. But that still lets me reduce by three, and this only reduces by one. Um, if you're proficient with light armors, you may recharge this card when you reset your hand. Mm. I'm thinking maybe... I'll keep these two. Okay, so you're going to get rid of the magic shield and that one. Um, I will take the magic shield. I don't want to give that up. You know, so. I'm only allowed to have one armor. Oh, are you? Yes. Oh, duh. Okay. okay. Um, so it's between these two. I can banish this card to reduce all damage. I guess I'll just keep my magic leather armor. Since I'm not proficient for, for the half okay. Well, I took that magic shield. I figured I might as well. Okay. Okay, uh, let's go to the next thing, which is items. I have my two items. Uh, I have six items. Okay. okay. All right, so um, next we will go to the allies. I can hold two allies. I have a dog, a guide, and a burglar. Um, thinking about keeping the guide and the burglar. The only reason I don't like the burglar, though, is because... Um, he uh, doesn't let you explore. Well, I think I'm going to get rid of this guy soon. What's he do? 1d6 to you acquire an ally. Hmm. He is kind of cool, but I can only have two of them. Are you sure you want to get rid of him? Well, uh, the reason I have him is that you... he could get Poog back in my hand. Yeah. I, I, yeah. But he would banish it. You have to banish him to get Poog back in my hand. Mm, that's, that's all. That's true. Then there's Meister Grump. Yeah. <laughs> Meister Grump! Yeah! Um, until you find a bang, shuffle the crew. Uh, he seems really cool just because he can find the bang, but at the same time, he's You banish banished. him to do that, but yeah. then you, you can discard him to explore your location. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to let the burglar go. I'm going to keep the dog and the guide again. So. Okay. Uh, i got to decide between Sirdak and Meister Grump. Do I want to banish a card to find a Bane, or banish a card to get Poog back in my hand? Mm. I would do it for Poog. He's your Poog's your best ally, in yeah. my opinion. So, okay. My the girl gonna go back in the box. I mean, now it's my... blessings, and I have four, and I can keep four. So. Okay. Uh, well, real quick, let's talk about that real quick because I do okay. have the blessing of Iomita, and it says uh, discard this card to add two dice to non-combat charisma check. I know your charisma checks are kind of. Uh, Your yeah, I've been having mine. trouble with my charisma checks. Um, do you just want to take that one then? I mean, it doesn't bother me none. Well, what do you want? Um, well, you want nothing, nothing, nothing. You okay. just you can have it, and then I'll just take these. I mean, unless you want a generic one. 
Because uh, this one's going to go back in the box, obviously. So. Oh, how many blessings can you hold? Uh, four. I can hold four. four. Yeah, because remember, I, I changed my weapons when we did our uh, our feet or whatever that was. Our card feet. Okay. Uh, so the I only could... thing I would want is that one, if you wanted to trade. But okay. both of them suck at, both of us suck at wisdom, so. Right. Okay, so. well, then I'll let you have my generic one. Okay. Thank you for your generic. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, so we're all set for our next adventure.